There is a type of question in A-level physics where more marks are lost than any other. Yes, these are describe and explain questions. In order to tackle them, my first tip is to realize that an answer to a describe and explain question typically lies in a calculation. If you're feeling stuck on such a question, I would actually write down a law and rearrange it for the variable that they want us to explain the effect on. You could even invent some values, make sure that they're easy to calculate if you do so, and increase one of them to see the effect on the desired variable. You will literally be able to see the effect and write down the correct answer. If a question gives you a specific number or a specific value, this means that you need to do a calculation in your answer. For instance, if the speed of an object was to double, the key word here being double, the kinetic energy will increase by a factor of four and the mark scheme will expect that exact value. I don't see that many people doing this, but when you come across a describe and explain question, if it is three marks, I would immediately bullet point three separate marks. This will help you organize your own knowledge into three separate points, but also do not give up until you have written down something that you know that is true for that final mark. More often than not, you will get some marks for it. This next tip is really, really important and is at the heart of doing really well in those questions and that is solve multiple past papers ideally in the time conditions and analyze the mark schemes. You should be able to see patterns of the types of answers that do appear for your specific exam board. Additionally, some describe and explain questions have very very specific wording. For instance, how are absorption and emission line formed in quantum physics? Make sure that you learn these and you'll be able to reproduce those automatically if that question was to appear. Make sure to go over the specification and identify any parts that are very specific and that need to be learned prior to the exams. Read the question fully. Many times they will actually tell you what to do or which law to use to arrive at the correct answer. There is one final describe and explain question tip that is really, really important and I've made a separate video for it this is precisely why you should have a look at this video right over here that will really help you with six markers and explanations. 